Morning Beaufort High School, my name is Makaya Graves and welcome to AAA Today. Now to Joshua Dingis with the Teacher Spotlight. Hi, my name is Joshua Dingis and I'm here today with... Mrs. DuBose. We're going to ask you some questions about one of Beaufort's new hires. What subject do you teach? I teach math, AMDM, and advanced algebra. When did you know you wanted to become a teacher? Uh, from a young age, I always wanted to be a teacher, but after college, I went into business for a little while and then switched back. So did you have any jobs in like business, or did you go straight to a uh, teacher after college? I did. I worked in health insurance as an analyst for a couple of years. You know you're a new teacher at Buford. Have you worked in any other schools before? I have. I worked at Mandarin High School in Jacksonville, Florida for a couple of years, and most recently I was at Chattahoochee High School. Do you like working at Buford, and what's the best part about it? So far, so good. I think that the community aspect is the best part. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to another year. I'm weatherman number four, bringing you this weekend's weather. On Friday, we have a high of 87, low of 67, partly cloudy, uh, humidity is 62%. On Saturday, we have a high of 84, low of 65. Partly cloudy, humidity is 57%. On Sunday, we have a high of 85, low of 66. Partly cloudy, humidity is 56%. On Monday, we have a high of 87, low of 67. Partly cloudy, humidity is 57%. Pretty moderate weather this weekend, so use it gracefully and have a good weekend. Weatherman number four signing off for now. See you all next week. Hi, my name is Vincent Gentleman. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about joining DECA. DECA will provide you with an opportunity to network with business professionals and fellow emerging leaders. Not only that, but it comes with a lot of fun activities, as this year we're even going to Orlando. Also, I forgot the best part, you, it's extremely flexible, meaning you can play sports, participate in theater, and you can participate in DECA, all while having the same opportunities as any other DECA member. So why not join us next week, Monday or Wednesday, before or after school, to learn more about joining DECA. Welcome everyone to Buford Sports. I'm Tyler. I'm Jeremiah. And this is your sports recap. Over the summer, Ryan DePitcher Dylan Lesko was drafted 15th overall to the San Diego Padres. Varsity Girls Softball play North Carolina on Wednesday at home and have a doubleheader on Saturday. They play Lambert and Lakeside. Next week on Monday, they have a doubleheader against Walnut Grove at their field and then another doubleheader home next Saturday against Cambridge and Woodland. Varsity football has a scrimmage against Jones County on Friday at 7.30 and has their first game on the 19th against Thompson, Alabama. Their first game is Youth Night on the 26th at 7.30 against Mallard Creek, North Carolina. JV football's first game is at home on the 25th against Creekside. Next week on Tuesday, JV and Varsity Volleyball play GAC at 5 o'clock and play Athens Academy at home on Thursday at 5 o'clock. And that's all the sports for this week. Good morning. I am, my name is Vincent. I'm here today with Ms. Edwards discussing FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America. Would you say FBLA is for everyone? All right, FBLA is for anyone. Whether you want to be in business as a career or you want to major in business when you graduate from high school. So yes, it's for everyone. There's many things that come along with being in FBLA. Uh, you learn leadership skills, the value of community service. You learn how to uh, cooperate and work with others. FBLA also promotes um, personal growth, kind of helps you to figure out uh, who you are and um, how you can become a better version of you. When will the first FBLA meeting occur? FBLA meets once a month. We typically meet the fourth Wednesday of every month from three to four in the afternoon. We also like to have some type of fellowship with our members once a month as well. When was FBLA founded? FBLA was founded at Columbia University in around 1937. A professor there kind of came up with this idea of how we could encourage students to become knowledgeable about business, uh, knowledgeable in leadership skills, knowledgeable in ways that they could better themselves and be able to have a camaraderie with people who could help them in that aspect. Can you earn a cord by joining FBLA? Yes, you can earn a cord, an honor cord for graduation by being a member of FBLA. Um, we actually would like to have a two-year commitment in order for you to receive the cord. And when you receive the cord, you have met certain qualifications. 
Um, you have been to conferences and competitions. You have had good attendance at your meetings, at the meetings. You've worked with us on our community service projects, which we have many of those. Helped out with fundraisers. When you graduate, then we will award you with an FBLA honor cord to wear with your graduation outfit. Okay, that's it for today, and thank you, Ms. Edwards, for joining us. Thank you. What's up, Buford High School? Adam here. If you're interested in joining any clubs, there's two clubs that are having meetings this month, Skills USA and Debate Club. If you're interested in joining either of those clubs, Skills USA will be meeting for the first time on Tuesday, August 16th in room 2139. So if you're interested in joining Skills, just go stop by Mr. Bashir's room. And for Debate Club, the first meeting will be held August 18th in room 2231. Seniors must have photos taken by Lily McGregor by August 1st if they want to be in the yearbook. Speaking of yearbooks, yearbooks will be on sale until August 12th. On August 13th, they will rise in price. Well, that's all I have for you, Buford High School. See you next week. Objection! Objection overruled! It is obvious with this evidence that you have murdered so, this woman. Your Honor, it, uh, if you are to eat, then my client is an innocent man. Um, I, ooh, you that murdered her with this evidence in cold blood. Uh, so, like, uh, the evidence, um, it, it clearly states that my client Your killed. lawyer is incompetent, no, that's stupid. That's not good for my case. Um, Ill-prepared and biased. Are you struggling to get your point across? May I suggest debate club? The only club that can teach you proper debate skills while increasing your public speaking ability and much more. Now watch Debate Club in action. So it's really important that we allow phones in schools because what if you have an emergency? Who are you going to contact? But they're distractions from our classrooms. You take away from our teachers. Teaching. Debate Club has a wide variety of thought provoking topics for debate as well as retrials of famous court cases. So, do you feel ready to finish this trial? We will now hear closing arguments. Throughout this case, I've made my point clear. This man is a murderer. And that's all I have to say. Judge, jury, attorney. My client is an innocent man. And though I have not done the best defending him in this case, there is no, no doubt in my mind that if you look deep into my client's eyes, he is truly a good man. Nothing left to say. I trust you all make the right decision. Jurors, have you reached your verdict? We, the jury, find Rupert M. not guilty. I know you paid off the jury! You are paid for court. this! Are you in the court! Debate Club. See how it can change your life. Come join us for our first meeting Thursday, August 18th, and see the results for yourself. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing weekend.